Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2! It is a Tuesday morning. I've got my coffee but it's a little too hot and I can't drink it yet and I'm upset about it. Um, it's time for the advent calendar. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up with filming it. Probably not very much longer. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go. Day two. Where are you? Day two. Here we go. Founder. Founder. All right. Okay, okay. Let's see which one this is. Looks like this. This is the honey caramel. This should be good. It's all right. The honey tastes a little fake. It was very liquidy. That's not what I expected that to be. Hmm. Anywho, that's it. Gotta go at it. Day one. Hello, hello. I have just been working. I'm doing laundry, so absolutely nothing exciting has been going on so far this morning, but I'm actually wearing clothes. And, and jeans <laughs> and I'm gonna attempt to actually put on a little bit of makeup fix my hair because it's looking a little cray and um, just get a little ready for the day because um, I want to get a cute picture when we go out for this afternoon's activity sorry for this unfortunate angle but this phone case is so thick and like I can't like it doesn't fit in my stands with the case on and I'm tired of taking it on and off so you're just precariously leaning on my um makeup brush container anyways the only thing I have on my face right now is the super gloop glow screen which I love it gets a little bit of a um a bronze but and a little bit of a glow and I don't love a super matte like foundation and I've just really been using this as my foundation for well all of 2020 um so I am just going to maybe just throw on a little bit of eyeshadow a little bit of mascara and call it a day here we go we'll put you up there a little better I've been using this mascara for about a month and I really like it but first, I cannot find my, oh. First, a little eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this Tarte palette that I've had forever. It has some pretty neutrals. All ready for the day. Um, I just ran a straightener through my hair because I think I'm gonna throw a beanie on later, so I didn't bother curly night. Um, just a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara, and dip my eyebrows. My shirt is from Target. It's super cute. It says Mary on it. This cardigan is from Nordstrom. I got it during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And then my jeans are really old from Madewell, but Target has a bunch of these cute little holiday tees and they're really inexpensive. So um, if you're looking to kind of jazz up your holiday 2020 loungewear attire, I recommend. Um, this and this if they still have it in stock, but the tea is um, linked on the shop page on our blog. <laughs> all right, we are all off to do something very exciting. We're going to get a Christmas tree. Yay! Real one. I have never had a real Christmas tree in my life. I've always had a fake one. They um, they used to get real ones before I was born. So Ashley's had real ones, but I haven't. And we're just going to get a really like small one. We just thought this is the year. From the street, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got it in 2020 with something fun. Exactly. So we're off. 
Poppy's here too, let me show ya. Hey Pops, you excited? She's got her puffer coat on, She's going to get a tree. Operation Christmas tree was a success. We got this little guy, comes in a little stand. Still no idea where we're gonna set him. <laughs> we'll figure out. Him about what? Your, can you just tell them about your relationship with the FedEx guy? Um, sure. <laughs> Shelb says, tell you guys about my relationship with the FedEx guy. So our um, buzzer hasn't worked for a long time to get into our building, but it's pretty much just our unit, I think, because I think others work. Anyways, long story short, um, I got tired of missing FedEx packages because FedEx like won't leave it um, unless they speak to a human, even if you don't have to sign for it, which I respect. But finally, I, I kept writing my number um, and saying like, call me when you get here and I'll like get let you in. So he must like save my number in his phone because now every time I have a package or anybody else in our apartment has a package, um, he calls me. <laughs> so we're getting a treat and he called me that he had a package for me. And I was like, uh, can you please just leave it? <laughs> because I'm not home. So hopefully we're about to walk in to the package, but got this tree. How much did you say this was? $70, $70 guys. This little bitty tree. Welcome to New York. We have our package. Alex's. Oh, it's Alex's package. See, it's not even my package. It's Alex's package. Um, okay, I gotta go because I can't um, get the package and the tree and... Hey, Pops. Hey, Pops. So Alex went to the store, so... Okay, let's go find a place for the tree. Okay, ignore um, Shelby's purse over here and this mess we need to <laughs> fold. But this is where I ended up putting it. How cute is this? I had this stool in my room. I have like a fiddly fig on it with the um, little white faux rug. Um, both of those things are from Ikea, So, but I've had them a while. So we just pulled them out here and put the little tree on here. I think it looks super cute. I'm just gonna hang this little guy that we got um, at the Brant Park Market with all of our names on it on this tree. All right, I'm now after Hudson Yards, I'm going to Soul Cycle. This is my second to last class of the year before we start quarantining. 
but I'm excited. It's cold. Let's go. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me or not. I'm gonna go sit inside uh, with my mask on because I have like 20 minutes until class starts and it's so cold outside. Up until like about a week ago, I was sitting just like outside on the stairs, but it's cold. Um, the vessel's right there. That tent right there is where Soul Cycle is. I'm not gonna show you a lot of Hudson Yards today because Ashley and I are actually coming back here tomorrow and we're doing the vessel because I've never been up it. Um, so I'm not gonna show you a ton about Hudson Yards, but I'm gonna go inside and warm up and then I'll show you the tent when I get over there. All right, I had to change because Poppy peed on me long story <laughs> but she did um i have made a little snack i am gonna have a little coffee and then one of these little cookie brownie christmas things shelby made yesterday i don't know what she's calling them and then i need to tackle putting away all of my laundry that i did earlier that's currently on a clean pile on my bed that i'm just laying on with my snack while um well my phone's charging so that's why it's in this um, strange location and that is gonna be my next little bit and then I needed to jump back into work because I took a little bit of a break to go do the Christmas tree this afternoon and then it's time to figure out dinner and the rest of the evening this day flew by Yay. done took a shower blood dried my hair as you obviously just saw if you guys are looking for something for your christmas lifts list or a gift for somebody i love this brush this one is the one from revlon there's a lot of different versions of this floating around but i've seen this one on sale quite a bit lately so you might want to check it out um it just it's really easy it dries fast gives really good volume and I just find it so much easier than a blow dryer and a round brush because I feel like I never have enough hands and this is just all in one and it's nice. I really enjoy it. Shelby uses it too. Um, we have very different hair types. Mine is obviously shorter and fine and um, thin and hers is super coarse and thick and we both have success with it. So anyways, if you're looking for a gift um, for yourself or for um, somebody else, I highly recommend it. Um, that took, I know I time lapsed it, the, dr the drying, but for my hair, which again, it's obviously shorter, um, it took six and a half minutes from start to finish to dry, so wanted to point out a couple of other things if you're looking for gift ideas these are would be great stocking stoppers or you know just gifts for um yourself the blah this vanilla mint hand cream is on the sister market we also have it in a lavender and just a shea butter if you're not a big scent person um i love this um stuff it's super hydrating but not sticky um it soaks in pretty fast which is a pet peeve of mine with some hand creams and then also obsessed with this lip balm from poppy and pout this one is the cinnamon flavor which i'm obsessed with i love it um but we also have it in a few other flavors uh it is one a, like a thicker bigger tube 
um, and it's cardboard you just push it up with your finger so I like that it's not a lot of excess plastic um, and it lasts forever so this is another great stocking stuffer we have this in mint in marshmallow cream and in a honey then a couple other things I happen to be wearing are thin gold rings. I literally never take them off. Um, these are something that we've had in the shop since day one, and I have had them on my hands since then, so for a couple years. Shower on them, everything, never, literally never take them off, and I love them. Um, perfect for anybody. Great stocking stuffer. And then let me switch hands over on this wrist. I have, oh, it's backwards. Hang on, I'll turn it around. Um, the red cord is our astrology bracelets. Hang on. Okay, that's better. These are our astrology bracelets. So my sign is Cancer. So this is the Cancer bracelet. It just ties on each of those two little tails you pull um, to make it smaller or larger. This is another thing that I don't take off. Um, you can take it off, obviously, but like I shower in it and everything along with... Um, my other bracelets on this wrist that are from Catbird that are welded on. Um, so those literally cannot come off <laughs> unless I cut them. Um, but I love this astrology bracelet. Also a great stocking stuffer um, for somebody in your life. And then because I am anticipating questions, my Sherpa is from Aerie. Um, I love it. It's a great mustard color. So comfy cozy. My pants are also from Aerie. They are a waffle knit. They do have pockets, which I love. Uh, these items are both linked on the shop page of astoldbyashenshelves.com. But if you guys see, I'll try to be good about sharing where things are from that I'm wearing or talking about but if you guys see anything in any of these vlogmas videos that you want to know where it's from and we don't share it um it's if it's clothing it's likely either on the shop page of our of our blog or on our amazon shop both are linked through as told by ash and shelves um but just ask ask in the comments of this youtube video and we'll either directly answer your question to the comment or um if a bunch of people are asking about it talk about it in like the next day's video um so that you guys have the answers so yeah airy made dinner i have a little sweet potato with some um beans very basic I'm kind of at the bare bones of my groceries but i'm trying to hold out until we go to trader joe's in a couple of days um, we're watching Wheel of Fortune, so we're officially grandparents, um, but <laughs> we're waiting for The Bachelorette to start in 10 minutes. It's very weird to be watching The Bachelorette during December in Vlogmas, but alas, in 2020, here we are. I've also been dreaming about these cookie bars I made yesterday all day, and I'm about to have a big old piece of one with my tea. I know, I'm As you know, I had one earlier. This might be, well, I still love the biscotti, but this is up there from really? one of my favorite things. Because really? I love a cookie. My thing is, is that I think for a comfort level and to not feel so sickly sweet, they're cut a little big. Yeah. So I would say like, I would have, I would have been happy with half of the amount that I ate and I like, I finished it because I'm not a quitter. <laughs> But I would have been more comfortable with half. So because they're so thick yeah. and sweet. I think the pan for the recipe was supposed to be bigger, but this is all we had. Ah. So. I'm excited for the Bachelorette, though. Tisha's fun to watch. I'm kind of glad we got rid of Claire. Yeah. She's just... Something about her's always bugged me a little bit. I don't really know what or why. So it was kind of nice that we were done with her in a couple weeks. Wish her the best, but I'm excited to watch Tasha.